China, Taiwan, Iran, Israel. Are we going to war? It's not looking pretty right now. Let's get into it. the start of most wars have not been really that great of a surprise. Usually there's some clear buildup before the hostilities and fireworks begin. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing that same pattern today. For example, by now it should be uh, exceedingly clear to everyone that Israel and Iran will be going to war. That's right. They'll be going to war. Uh, both sides have been taking, you know, they've been at each other's throats for years. Uh, you know, there's always been a coming conflict. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. Uh, but right now, things are a little different. You know, everyone knows who's been causing the mystery explosions inside Iran. And everyone knows who's been attacking Israel's commercial ships. That's what's going on right now. A shadow war has already been going on for quite some time. And at some point, I think missiles will start flying back and forth between the two countries. Likewise, we got another problem. Likewise, uh, it should be, you know, exceedingly clear to everyone that China very much wants to invade Taiwan. Some would argue the last administration, previous administration was a little tougher. They were a little more nervous. They may think they can push the new administration now. That seems to be kind of what's going on. The president said reunification is a top national priority for the CCP. And as you will see, we will take it. So war Xi Jinping. So he, he I think he uh, has apparently decided that Taiwan is not a problem that will be passed down to the next generation. He wants it now and he's going to take it. So that's been on his pl the back burner. It's to the front now. So I think from a U.S. perspective, the goal is to delay these conflicts as long as possible if you look at history. Uh, but China just keeps getting more and more aggressive in everything that they do from their cyber attacks, as we all know. Uh, they're stealing of intellectual property. They're just more and more aggressive with Taiwan. In fact, the Chinese military, they sent 77 military aircraft into Taiwan's air defense identification zone on Friday and Saturday alone. 77. So they're amping up. Taiwan um, has reported a record number of incursions by Chinese warplanes into its air defense identification zone, the ADIZ, for the second day in a row. So they're getting a little nervous. They're making some phone calls. Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense said uh, it's getting a little out of control on Saturday night as he's sucking the vodka, maybe scotch. So he's a little nervous. I'd be drinking. So the self-governing island said a total of 39 Chinese military aircraft entered the ADIZ on Saturday, one more than the 38 planes it spotted on Friday. So this is the most China's amped up ever. So that's, you know, one British guy weighed in, power player. So that's a shocking provocation that led one uh, news outlet to do massive reporting on it and said uh, they're on the brink of war. And this isn't too far from the truth. So people on the other side of the pond are getting a little nervous. In response, the head of Taiwan's government had some very tough words for the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. China has been uh, wantonly engaged in a military aggression. So damaging regional peace, uh, said the Taiwan uh, premier. Uh, the U.S. commitment to Taiwan is rock solid. I don't know about that and contributes to uh, the maintenance of the peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and within the region, uh, he added, before he took a shot of uh, Jaeger. So, he, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he said that with a straight face. So we'll have to continue to, to stand with friends and allies to advance our shared prosperity 
given the standard sum speech, security and values, all that stuff, deep in our ties uh, with Taiwan. So I don't know if they can you know, withstand the 800 pound gorilla China. So when China finally invades Taiwan, it's gonna happen. The US and China will instantly be in a state of war and everyone understands this. Now, the US can just say, we're not gonna deal with it. Let them take it, right? We're gonna have a major problem with everything else going on. So at one time, the Chinese had hoped to peacefully reunify with Taiwan like they did with Hong Kong. <laughs> peacefully. But that is uh, uh, probably out of the picture for now. Uh, the CCP leaders have realized that they are going to have to take Taiwan by force. And so they are looking for an opportunity. They're doing their missions, looking for their opening, plotting, plotting, plotting. So I'm a little worried about Joe right now with feeble Joe Biden in the White House and with the American people deeply tired of wars, which they are. This may be the best chance uh, that the CCP is going to get. And they certainly realize this. They've wargamed it. They know. Um, so everything's lining up for them, it seems. So this could, you know, could they pull the trigger on an invasion in the uh, months ahead? And it seems to be they're getting ready to do something. So I, I, I hope, God for God bid, I, let's hope not. But because such a conflict would throw the entire globe into a state of chaos with COVID and everything else, China has positioned themselves better than us with everything they've done during COVID. So it would help them. So, but the clock is ticking because as I noted earlier, we are being told that Xi Jinping has determined that Taiwan is not a problem that will not be passed down to the next generation. He wants it, he wants it, he's gonna take it. So, you know, the president Xi Jinping in China has previously expressed his aims to annex the, uh, you know, the island by suggesting that there's no room for any form of Taiwan independence. This guy's getting a little out of control, man. He's getting a little out of control. Um, a gentleman by the name of uh, Dr. Nick from La Trobe University in Australia said, Xi Jinping has made a very public and very clear signal that says Taiwan um, is not a problem that will be passed down to the next generation. So he said they're in deep shit. So meanwhile, uh, the game of nuclear chicken that Iran and Israel are playing uh, is rapidly getting out of control. So we don't know what the Ouija board is going to say about that. So I think a moment of truth is coming in that situation. So just like uh, his predecessor, uh, Israel, uh, the prime minister, uh, uh, has promised to never allow the Iranians to develop their own nuclear weapons. And everyone agrees that the day is now closer than ever, than ever. And it is. Uh, that's from my contact on the ground in Pakistan. I'm just kidding. You never know. So the following comes from an Israel news source. In his speech to the uh, UN General Assembly last week, Prime Minister uh, declared that if that Iran's nuclear program has hit a watershed moment, a watershed moment in the Iran's nuclear program. And so, you know, he, you know, he didn't mince words, you know, they haven't stopped the centrifuges from spinning. Uh, they said, standard bullshit, we won't allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. So they're working on it. So with quite dramatic uh, Kander, meanwhile, the I IDF chair of chief of staff publicly declared in January that the IDF was preparing fresh operational plans for a potent military strike in August. So that's Iran's nuclear progress has, you know, prompted everyone to kind of get up from the table and speed up its operational plans uh, with a fresh budget to do so. So money's flowing in. Uh, they're taking this seriously now. Uh, so the IDF has greatly accelerated uh, preparations for action against Iran's nuclear program because they're still working on it and they're getting closer. So needless to say, a full-blown uh, war between Israel and Iran would also throw the entire globe into a state of chaos and it's coming. So can you imagine if we got Taiwan 
invaded. And then we got a war going on in the Middle East. So in fact, a top Iranian uh, official just said that war with Israel has already started and we're ready and we're not going back. The war with Israel has already started. The Iranian foreign minister spokesman said, Israel has carried out attacks that were intended to destroy our nuclear program or for peaceful purposes. So they stated um, it murdered nuclear scientists and harmed the Iranian people. Iran is accused of terrorism, but there is no good or bad terrorist. So the whole crisis in the region is Israel's fault, according to him. That's not good. So if either of these wars, you know, that I'm touching on, uh, if they do fully erupt before the end of this calendar year, economic activity all over the planet would be greatly affected and it would make global supply chains, which are out of whack right now. Just look at all the ships along California and everything else that's going on far worse than they are now. It's exceedingly horrible what's going on and that's what's contributed to inflation. So in addition, in addition uh, the global financial markets would almost certainly go totally haywire, which they sort of are right now. So much more importantly, in either case, the U.S. would find itself involved in a new war, in a new war. And, um, you know, if China invades Taiwan, uh, the U.S. military would instantly be forced into action. And if Iran and Israel go to war, the U.S. would definitely not stay on the sidelines. Um, even though there's been some talk, um, they would have to put their skin in the game on that one. So, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a steamroller, man. Needless to say, most Americans are not even thinking about war right now. They're busy dealing with COVID, playing video games, watching football. But war is coming. And it won't be too long, ladies and gentlemen, before it's here. And that's when it most likely will come because everyone is thinking about this over here and no one knows what's going on. That's why you got to watch the micro and the macro. Um, but just seeing how these tea leaves line up, I'm a little worried. I love to talk about real estate, finance, personal finance, whatever, making money, business. Um, but I think these are important topics to touch on because they are going to have a global impact. And it's very concerning what's going on with China and Taiwan and Israel and Iran. And from reading the research and talking to people, it seems to be coming to a head. So I just wanted to bring that to light. It's uh, worrisome for everyone. It'd be nice if everyone could get along, but that's just wishful thinking. Um, all right, take care, be safe, try to be a better person, be kind. Like I always say, it's easy to be an asshole. It's hard to be a nice person. And I was an asshole one time trying to do 